Africa, a winning Mandela, Mangating Shai Kona Wusaku Muzi, Mangating Shai Kona Wunam Bitter, Umang Tatigan and Mang Kulela Belunga, Baba was a good sister. Bless it, it was quite a blessing, my brother. I won't sleep today, brother. Speaking to you, brother William, I would highly appreciate if you can help me, my brother. You know, you go to rehab, that's the first thing you should do. Yes, I want to. And then once you get out of there, I'll be here waiting. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, Flatline re Music has been running as a publishing, digital publishing distribution business for the last five years. Um, this is only the second year for Flatline Radio, and I thought I needed so much money to start it. But when you find the right partners like Ben and Sfiso here at the box shop um, with the support of production, like people like Mike that understand and also look at the creative vision and the drive uh, and, the th and the thing that drives you to, to carry on pushing, they they made it easy to link into to a place like this. I mean, we we living in a country where jobs are scarce and people are losing jobs through this COVID uh, era. A reality and is. I mean, to find creatives in such spaces that will create employment for themselves, I mean, is very revolutionary. This yes, is, it is Flatline Radio. My name is Miss Lee, and um, I'm your boy Dylan. Man, what? Come on, somebody. We got uh, three graduates from Boston now that are integrated into the business that are doing functions, but they're learning hands-on um, what it is to work in the industry and learning everything across the board from uh, broadcasting to present uh, presentation and communication to to what mu uh, music publishing and uh, distribution and marketing and production is. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a it's a it's a hands-on incubator. Um, for the industry, even if it's at a small capacity. I met Dilaman for the first time, you know, here at Velakazi Street. We actually came here to to the radio station. Yes, you know, to, to come and to come and see how you can get the uh, interview. You on get an interview in this radio station, and um, yeah, finally we got the interview and we came here and um, yeah, and um, that was how we met. And and I, I can see what is happening here at Flatline. I can say that it's something I have to be. I, I was proud of, you know. So I decided to contact Dilaman as the as the flat Mr. Flatline, you know. So I asked him like, look, um, we are just an emerging artist, you know. We trust our work, but now we need we need um, you know where we can kind of start exposing it. start exposing it and plugging, you know. So I mean, like the way he attended to us, he was so humble and so you know easy. You know, like, I mean, the rest was history. That was how we started. And started. Uh, we're on an iconic setting. It's a blessing to be on Vilakazi Street. This world means so much to the whole of Africa and the whole world. It's the most famous strip in the whole of Africa. Nice. That's just, just start there. So we're in the iconic setting and we understand this and we understand how important it is for our, what our reach is and what our message is to Africa. You know, we, we're tired of our stories getting told by uh, by, by foreign countries to us. Mm -hmm. Surely we can tell them better. Surely yeah. we know what it is yeah. to the core. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What Mike yeah. is also saying about talking to brands, we are the ethnicity and authenticity in the equation. Oh, yeah. With working with uh, yeah. Della and uh, Flatline, because I've been working with them for about a year, but outside of the company, because I represent the box shop, uh, and I've been assisting them on the technical side. And if there's one thing that I like about Flatline is how much they um, are focusing into the youth and building the youth, and every single thing that they do is for a positive outlook. I mean, it's really where you'll find people that will not want to enrich themselves, but enrich the community. So yeah, man. So um, we've just out here done a star-started video, already finished. Shoot. They're halfway through the edit. And guess who rocks up? Guess who? <laughs> G Dizzle. G Dizzle late What's as up? usual. You know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga, were you late for Will I Am show? No, I wasn't, bro. Are you sure? I wasn't. You know what happened I, is that... Are you sure? Just like coming down from, from <laughs> Black nah, Street. Listen. I'm a rapper, I'm a singer, I'm a dancer. Are you a freestyler? No, I'm, I don't do no freestyle. Like, do you have some speak. bars? Yeah, I can, I can do can, some can, level Can you bar. flip some uh, bars? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's not a business plan like Dilla Man gonna blow up and be platinum. It's about how is our value chain looked after so we can make 20 or 100 dollars that are bigger. Do you understand? Because we value the chain, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey, honey.
We're all learning about cinematics, we're all learning about, about voice projection, dance moves, what? Um, art direction, clothes, clothing, even to the little thing of setting up the set. Yeah. We want to be able to stream live from the studios in the process of also building our own app already where we can bring the whole Flatline universe from Flatline Music to Flatline Radio under one banner where the radio shows are available, you can buy the music, you can support the artists, you can buy the merchandise, you can buy the alcohol. We make our own Flatline alcohol which is branded so we know about also branding opportunities.